Hi everyone, I'm Shelly and you're watching There's No Place Like Home. Today I wanted to share with you how being a good student hindered my ability to homeschool. When the topic of homeschooling comes up, so often you will have people who really don't know much about it comment and say, well, if the parent was a good student, then they're probably equipped to homeschool. But those parents who didn't do so well in school, they should probably just let someone else teach their children. And while on the surface it seems reasonable, I can tell you from my own experience that that might not actually be the case. I actually have a few hypothetical situations that I'm going to talk about, and then I will end up with my own personal experience when it comes to this. Now, first of all, when a, a parent is a good student, when they're in school, obviously we're talking about their school years. What I'm thinking is that since they did so well in school with the school methods, parents who were better students might be more inflexible because that schoolish method worked so well with them, worked well. And we'll get to that later, why I'm doing air quotes there. So the whole textbook driven um, approach might have actually, you know, seemed to them like it was a good idea because they didn't have any issues in school. So if they are homeschooling their own child and they're finding that the textbooks just aren't working for their children, they might have you know, just it might take them a while to get out of that mindset that that's the only way for children to learn. Now, I have to say that that's one thing that I'm thankful for is that although I was one of the good students when I was in school, pretty early on, I read John Holt and John Taylor Gatto, which if you have not read any books by either of them, I highly encourage that you do that. I will leave some of my favorites by them linked in the description box below, but they really helped me to break out of the mindset to know that the schoolish way of doing things is not the best way. And it's not even the best way for most children. And in fact, some people would say it's not, it's not the best way for all children because of the entire history behind why schools do the things that they do. And parents who were good students and were used to getting really good grades might also have a hard time understanding that grades are not really an accurate reflection of true knowledge. Because, and, and this is one thing that it, it did take me a little bit to, to get used to this, but, you know, I liked being on the honor roll. I, I liked getting those good report cards. And it was a nice, you know, I used to like patting myself on the back. And yeah, I'm going to admit that. And so when parents grew up with that mindset and grew up being told constantly that they're good students, they're so smart, they're so intelligent, look at you, you, you got straight A's. They, they might, you know, kind of scoff when people say, well, well, grades aren't really an accurate way to gauge how your child is learning. And, you know, in fact, grades really do reflect how well a child is good at memorization, how well they are, how well they do at taking tests. But it, yeah, it's, it's hard to break out of that. But here is really where it, it, I have a more personal experience with this. So I was, when I was in school, I was um, a gifted honors AP student. So, you know, I really, I, I grew up kind of hearing all the time from the teachers, you know, that we were the cream of the crop and we were intelligent, we were bright. And, you know, so after a while that starts to feed into your ego. So when I started homeschooling my children, I expected that they would pick up on things right away like I always did. And that's really where the hardest part of homeschooling was for me, was just having empathy for my children. Um, when my children just didn't seem to have something click with them that I thought should be easy, yeah, and, and you know, I still do this sometimes, that, that I would say things to them like, come on, this is so easy, or you should know this by now, or when when I was learning how to do blank, I was only in like fourth grade, and I, and I just kept relating my experience in school to my own children, and you know, it really helped, it was really hard for me at first to realize that children learn differently, there are different learning styles, there are different ways to learn, different homeschooling approaches, and that's one thing, I, I used to get frustrated, and again, I'm going to admit, I still do get frustrated. It's usually math that, that does this to me, where 
a concept that I think is super easy and if my children have a really hard time like grasping it, I'm like, come on, this is so easy. And then afterwards I think to myself, okay, you need to take a step back and you need to realize that your children are not carbon copies of you. And that to me has been the hardest thing to overcome. It doesn't mean that I, that you can overcome it because I've been doing this 14 years now. So I've been much better at not doing that. I did it much more in the beginning. But that's really where, you know, when you do have parents who were considered poor students in school, they might actually have an easier time of homeschooling their children because they know that textbooks don't always work, because they know that children don't all learn the same. They might be more willing to embrace different types of different types of homeschooling approaches. They, they might be less willing to put all of their stock in grades and standardized testing. And yeah, when their children are having a hard time grasping a concept, I'm sure that the parents who really did have a harder time in school might have a little bit more patience than those of us who, who had it a little bit easier in school might have. And that is really just my own experience. So I want to encourage you that if you want to homeschool your children and you really weren't such a great student, that does not mean that you cannot homeschool your children. In fact, I think that it might actually be an advantage for you. That's all that I have for you today. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet and would like to hear more of what I have to say, I would love if you would do that. If you have any questions or comments, you can leave one either here or over on Instagram. And if you like my work and would like to check out my Patreon page, I will leave a link in the description box for that as well. And I hope you have a great day.